Pakistani soldiers face one of the toughest challenges to date in their fight against militants. South Waziristan is one of the world's most remote areas. Thousands of battle-hardened Taliban fighters are holed up in mountain hideouts. For the army, this large-scale ground offensive is proving an uphill struggle. Violence is a way of life there. Everybody carries gun in this area. They are very tough people. It is a mountainous terrain. It is uh, very huge heights, uh, hills. It has a lot of uh, undulation, broken ground, ravines. And so it's a very difficult terrain. And the uh, communication infrastructure there is very underdeveloped. Almost 30,000 soldiers are on the ground. But they face formidable opponents. Fierce warrior tribesmen have ruled this territory for centuries. After the overthrow of the Taliban regime in Kabul in 2001, Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters settled in many parts of South Waziristan. U.S. officials say they are plotting attacks on the west from the wider Pakistan tribal belt. And now Islamist militants are stepping up their attacks within Pakistan. Of course, we can't rule out that uh, the Al-Qaeda would not be behind this. But it's not only Al-Qaeda who are supporting these Taliban. It's other players also in the arena and they are also supporting to create mess in this country. A U.S. drone attack last August killed Taliban leader Betullah Massoud, and his successor, Hakimullah Massoud, has vowed severe revenge. We want to free all Muslims, and we will carry on this task until all Islamic nations are completely free of their enemies. Tension is now mounting in all major cities. Residents are becoming increasingly aware that the militants can strike military as well as civilian targets anywhere, anytime.